Little doggy, just hold still because I'm going to rope and tie you. Look what I caught. Looks more like he caught you. She's really a beauty, isn't she? A genuine Appalachian. It's not an Appalachian, it's Appaloosa. And it's not a she, it's a he. I don't care if it's a boy Appaloosa or a girl Appalachian. It's a beauty. It sure is. Can I keep him? Well, she looks like a wild horse. Uh, and no shoes. Uh, <laughs> don't see any sign of a brand. Yeah. Looks like you found yourself a horse, Dusty. Really? It's my own horse and I can keep him? My own horse. Uh, uh, don't, don't fight. I'll see if I can get you out of this. You get in some of the wildest... Don't let go. Let, let go of this one. Huh? huh? Let go! Just like your Opelousa cut off here, Uriah. With them other tracks. I told you it was a horse thief, Marshal. Keep your rope handy, Roy. As soon as we catch up with him, we're gonna hang that barber to the nearest tree. the governor's mansion. Oh, no, but it'll sure be nice to sleep inside for one night. That corral's in pretty good shape. I'd be happier with that information if I were a horse. <laughs> this place looks like it's a rest home for termites. Carter, why is everything out west so western? <laughs> Hey, look, everybody. I got myself a wild horse. Dusty, he's beautiful. Well, I'll be. He's a beauty. I'm going to call him Freckles in the county. He's got all those freckles. No, those are called blotches. I'm still going to call him Freckles. I don't like the name Blotch. He is an elegant-looking beast, isn't he? Yeah, it costs you a pretty piece of change to buy one like that. Please, I never invest in anything that eats. <laughs> I'm not going to sell him. I'm going to keep him forever. <laughs> well, it may take you that long to break him. He looks a little ornery to me. I can be just as ornery as he is. Let's see a little practice. Well, afraid we haven't got time, Dusty. We're going to pull out of here at sunup tomorrow. Good. The accommodations here are simply dreadful. Hey, Mr. Callahan, guess what? I found a telegraph in there. Oh, boy, a telegraph. I mean, a real telegraph. I What's a telegraph? <laughs> it's a new invention by Samuel Morse. Uh, you see that wire? You can send messages over it. You gotta be joshing me. You can't send messages over a skinny little wire like that. Your little wires don't even fit. <laughs> yes, you can. You send it by clicking a series of dots and dashes. <laughs> that invention is gonna make millions. <laughs> What's the matter with him? Nothing. He always cries when he hears of someone else making millions. Anyway, I figure if I can repair the break in the wire, I can make contact all the way back to St. Louis. Oh, good. We can find out where we are and where to go. How long do you think it'll take you to fix that contraption? A couple of days, maybe three. Oh, great. Then I can break freckles while we're waiting. Yeah. And then you'd have your very own horse, Dusty. Yeah. My very own horse. <laughs> Me and Freckles, together forever. Looks like your horse thief joined a wagon train, Uriah. Yeah, yeah. Come on, let's move, Marshal. I don't want him crossing any borders before we hang him. Okay. <laughs> Wow, that makes 
17 times he's hit the ground, according to my count. I counted 18. You're both wrong. It's 20. You forgot the time he bounced twice. Come on, Dusty. Get up on him again, boy. Come on, Dusty. <laughs> Dusty, why don't you quit for a while? I think he's tired. You think he's tired, huh? Yeah, he's not throwing me as far as he was before. All right, Dusty, I'm going to show you something about breaking a horse. Yeah. The first thing you got to do is show him who's boss. He knows that. He knows that. Come on. Come on. Uh, to Jones, Bean, Bean, and Stringfellow. Stop. Uh, buy one million shares of Erie Barge. Stop. Mr. Brookhaven, even if I repair this telegraph key, I must use it for more important messages than that. More important than money? <laughs> uh, if, if you're not joking, young man, you're sick. <laughs> I slipped and fell in the bathtub. Look, it is a bathtub. Well, I'll be... I wonder why anyone would leave it here. Yeah, well, uh, too heavy to carry on a stagecoach. Yeah, they probably busted an axle getting it this far. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? A hot bath. A hot bath. <laughs> hey, how about that, Dusty? A nice hot bath. Huh? It's not big enough for all of us. No, no, separately, little pal, separately. Girls, go heat up some water. Right away. Ah. Yeah, come on. Come on. Right on, right on. Ah. Knees tight. Ah. 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 Oh, yeah, it leads to that old relay station up ahead. Uh huh, and so does our horse thieves' tracks. Get that rope ready, Roy. Ah. Hurry with the hot water. My goose are getting bigger than the soap bubbles. <laughs> Now, don't be frightened, Freckles. I'm not going to hurt you. Question is, are you going to do the same? <laughs> okay. Easy, boy. Easy. 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 This is your friend. Easy. This is your friend. Ashamed of yourself, acting like a wild animal. Just wanted to be your friend, some friend you turned out to be. Okay, I'm not going to put up any more horse around, even your horse. Do you understand? Hmm?
You gentled him. Yeah, you showed him who's boss. Dusty, you're a man after my own heart. I can't believe it. My own horse. My really own horse for the rest of my life. Of course, that won't be for very long. Welcome to the hanging, folks. <laughs> some strong trees over by that relay station, Marshal. Why don't we hang them over there? Just a minute. Dusty did not steal that horse. You're right. He's innocent. You'll have to prove otherwise. Well, that's easy. This horse is Circle O stock. He's only got one mark on him, and it's mine. And there it is. Circle O. Well, I've looked at a lot of brands, but I never saw that circle before. Well, that horse has always been covered with spots. First time I saw him, I thought he had measles. <laughs> He's a low-down horse thief, and we're going to hang him. Now, hold on. They're extenuating circumstances. Constable, you must not allow this to happen. Or oh, the United States government will not receive another penny of my tax money. But you're supposed to be a lawman. What kind of justice do they have in this territory? Okay, okay. We'll give him a fair trial. Now, that's better. And then we'll hang him. <laughs> Order the court. <clears throat> How long have you known the defendant? Since we left the East. In your personal opinion, would he ever steal anything? Oh, no, never. See, I'm innocent. Sit down. <laughs> I mean, you haven't got to the point about you stealing horses yet. Do you believe that Dusty would go around stealing horses? Your Honor, Dusty wouldn't steal honey from a beehive. There's two things I wouldn't steal, horses and honey. Sit down. <laughs> Marshal, what's she saying got to do with him stealing my Appaloosa? She's a character witness. What we need here is a miracle witness. <laughs> Order in the court. <clears throat> Your Honor, may I uh, approach the bench? <clears throat> <laughs> That's what I call a good approach to the bench. <laughs> uh, uh, say what you have to say, ma'am. Well, Your Honor, I'd uh, do just about uh, anything to save Dusty's life. Marshal, if we're gonna get on with hanging this fella, don't you go getting swayed by no painted lady. She ain't no painted lady. She's my friend. And if you want to be swayed by my friend, the painted lady, just go right ahead. <laughs> uh, you can step down now, miss. Hmm. <clears throat> Your Honor, I think it is time that I had a talk with you in the privacy of your chambers. I ain't got no chamber. Speak your mind. Well, it's, uh, it's uh, tenably uh, personal. It concerns, uh... Are you offering me a bribe? A bribe? How well, dare you, sir? Well, if you are, you're wasting your money. I was merely willing to offer a very great deal of money to have you release this young man on bail permanently. Carter would never dream of bribing anyone. <laughs> it still sounded like a bribe to me. Uh, let me approach it in a different way. I am willing to pay a large amount of money to this young man here for the misappropriated horse, providing it spares Dusty's life. Thanks a lot, Mr. Brookhaven. The horse ain't for sale, mister. No matter how much money you got. Nonsense. Every man has his price. Women, too. Your Honor. Order the court. Sit down, mister. You've had your piece. Has anybody else got anything to say before I pass judgment? I do. That man is guilty. Right. Oh, I mean, he is guilty of making a simple mistake. Why, if Dusty here had thought for a minute that horse belonged to somebody else, he'd have never claimed it for his own. Well, you and I both know we all make stupid mistakes from time to time. I sure do. Just like he's doing now. Right. I should have been the one to find that brand, but I didn't, so it's my fault. And I'm asking you to hang me instead. You don't have to take my blame. Marshal! We found the accused sitting on my horse, not him, and that's a hard fact. Under the circumstances, I ain't got but one choice, and that's to find you, the defendant, guilty. Oh, no. oh. Silence! Order the court! I'm afraid we're gonna have to hang you, son. What are you afraid about? I'm the one who's gonna be hung. <laughs> we'll hang him at setup. It only gives me about 12 hours to fix that telegraph. What good's that gonna do us now? There's a Territorial Court of Appeals in Johnson City. If I can get the judge there to declare a mistrial, the marshal will have to free Dusty. Uh. Come on, let's shackle him up. Take him over there. Court's adjourned. Now, you 
you for sleeping this tonight. Well, considering the hanging and everything, I don't like the shape of my bed. Well, this way nobody will have to keep guard, and everybody will get a good night's rest. Now, get in there. There's no way he's going to run away, Jane, to this fancy voice barrel. <laughs> Andy, you go see if you can get that telegraph fixed. I got an idea it might give us the time we need. Right. I guess so. That handcuff was really tight. <laughs> that handcuff really hurts when you got it You'll on your... wake up to Marshall. You don't believe me. I'll show you. Look, it's like that. See? It hurts, huh? <laughs> I am. I think the Marshal's waking up. Oh, no. He kisses me out with my handcuff. I'm gonna... I'm gonna be killed before I get home. <laughs> no, it's all right. Go back to sleep again. <laughs> Okay, take these off. <laughs> I did give you the keys, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah good. Uh, but, uh, but, but what? But uh, I threw them away over there. You took it down. If we get out of this, I may hang you myself. No. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> know the penalty for aiding and abetting the escape of a horse thief? We didn't aid and abet anyone. Well, I would have if I could have. We would have if we could have, and we should have. The wagon master sprung him loose. Looks like when we catch up to him, we'll have a double necktie party. <laughs> Will you warn me when you're going to stop? I'm sorry. Is that fast enough? Hey, Dusty, do you know where we are? Yeah, I sure do. Up the creek. No, no, this is the place you found that Appaloosa. Oh, no, let's get out of here. I don't want to find another one. I'll get hung no, twice. No, no, if we can find another set of hoof prints, it might lead us to the real horse thief. Yeah. Uh, we'll split up. We can cover more ground that way. Right. Uh, good. Wait, <laughs> we have got to find something to get these things off of us. Not a chance. These handcuffs are as solid as a rock. Well, keep looking at Okay. Can't see anything. Neither can I. Well, I guess we're still going to be stuck together for the rest of our lives. I guess so. Uh, <laughs> hey, how'd you do that? How did I... How did hey, I do that? Never mind, never mind. When we're old and sitting in rocking chairs, we'll figure it out. But we will never live to get old if we don't find that horse thief. I tell you what, you take that trail, I'll go down that way. If either one of us spot anything, we meet back here. All right? Yeah. Don't take them off, young fella. Some folks like to die with their boots on. Not me. 
Please reconsider what you're doing. Hey, hold a hanging, hold a hanging. Ha, here, here's your horse thief right here. It's Crazy Blue. Crazy Blue? That's the wild stallion that's been chasing horses off all over the territory. Oh, well, I thought he was dead. He had been around these parts for years. Yeah, well, he's driven some of your prize stock into a box canyon about four miles from here. He could have driven off that Appaloosa of yours, too. Well, yeah. I suppose he could have. Well, now, I reckon we almost made a dumb mistake. You are free to go, Sonny. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Callahan, yeah. I don't know how to say thank you, except <laughs> thank you. Oh, that's all right, little pal. You'd have done anything in the world to save my neck, wouldn't you? I'd save your whole body. <laughs> 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 oh, Freckles. I love you. I love you. No, you can't take Freckles away. He's my horse, and I love him. I love him. No, no. No, 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 no. You can't take Freckles away. <laughs> Having that same crazy dream again. Yeah. About the sheriff and the rancher and, and the hanging and the yucca and all the rest. <laughs> but he's gonna take Freckles away from you. He was a wild horse and you broke him, and he belongs to you. Yeah. Why? Because then I could be having a nightmare. <laughs> Dusty? Hmm? Good night, Dave. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.